Lisa watched the movie about a giant race, captivated by the fantastical tale unfolding on the screen. Intrigued by the portrayal of giants, she turned to Damien, known for his extensive knowledge of ancient myths and manuscripts. Hey, Damien, I just watched this movie about a giant race. It made me curious about where the idea of giants comes from. Do you know anything about that? Oh, absolutely. Giants have a fascinating history in various ancient texts. Have you ever heard of the Nephilim? Damien's eyes lit up as he prepared to unravel the mysteries of ancient lore. No, I haven't. What are the Nephilim? The Nephilim are mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, often associated with giants. Some believe they were the offspring of angels and humans. There's a whole book called the Book of Enoch that goes into more detail. The Book of Enoch? Tell me more? Damien delved into an explanation, connecting the dots between the Nephilim and the ancient manuscript attributed to Enoch. It's an ancient Jewish text that provides additional insights into the Nephilim and their interactions with humans. That's fascinating. Are there other texts like this? As Lisa sought more knowledge, Damien expanded the conversation. Absolutely. There's also the Book of Giants, another part of the Anakic literature, offering additional stories about these giants and their deeds. Wow. There's so much more to it than I thought. Any other manuscripts I should explore? Damien, ever the enthusiast, shared more possibilities with Lisa. Indeed. Beyond the Book of Giants, you might find the Epic of Gilgamesh intriguing. It's an ancient Mesopotamian epic that also delves into the theme of giants. Thanks, Damien. I'll definitely look into these. It adds a whole new layer of understanding to the movie I just watched. You're welcome. Exploring these ancient texts can be a fascinating journey. Let me know if you have more questions or if there's anything else you want to dive into. As Lisa expressed her appreciation, the narrator acknowledged the bridge between modern storytelling and ancient mythology, inviting further exploration into the rich tapestry of human imagination. At the heart of the Nephilim mystery lies a passage embedded in the book of Genesis, a biblical narrative that has sparked centuries of speculation and contemplation. Genesis 6, 1-2-4 serves as the foundational text, offering a glimpse into the origins of these enigmatic beings and laying the groundwork for an exploration that transcends the bounds of conventional understanding. In the antediluvian era, the biblical text unfolds with captivating brevity. Genesis 6 And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw, the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be and hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. This passage, nestled within the early chapters of Genesis, introduces a perplexing intermingling of divine beings, mortal women, and the birth of the Nephilim. The term Sons of God has sparked debates, with interpretations ranging from angelic beings to ancient rulers or Sethite lineage. The union between these divine beings and mortal women results in the birth of the Nephilim, often associated with giants and figures of great renown. The ambiguity of the text has led to diverse theological perspectives, 
Some interpret the sons of God as fallen angels, emphasizing a supernatural union that begets a hybrid race. Others propose a more human-centric view, identifying the sons of God as righteous lineages intertwining with the unrighteous. The phrase, mighty men who are of old, men of renown, adds an additional layer of intrigue, suggesting a legendary status for the Nephilim, potentially serving as rulers, warriors, or influential figures in the ancient world. Beyond the literal interpretation, Genesis 6, 1, 2, 4, carries profound theological implications. The narrative touches upon themes of divine judgment, the consequences of forbidden unions, and the limitations placed upon mortal existence. The infusion of supernatural elements into the human story raises questions about the interplay between divine will and human agency. This biblical passage not only lays the groundwork for the Nephilim narrative, but also echoes through various ancient traditions. Similar tales of divine beings interacting with mortals can be found in Mesopotamian, Greek, and other mythologies, suggesting a shared cultural consciousness. As the narrative of the Nephilim unfolds, the Anakic texts emerge as a rich tapestry, weaving intricate details around the celestial beings known as the Watchers. The Book of Enoch, also referred to as One Enoch, becomes our guide into the celestial realms, where forbidden wisdom intertwines with mortal existence. At the heart of the Anakic literature are the Watchers, celestial beings initially designated as guardians. However, their role takes a dramatic turn as curiosity and desire prompt them to descend from the heavenly abode to interact with humanity. These beings, often described as angels or divine emissaries, become intermediaries between the divine and the mortal. Ensnared by the beauty of mortal women, the Watchers defy celestial boundaries by taking them as wives. This transgression against the natural order becomes a pivotal point in the narrative, leading to the birth of the Nephilim. The Watchers' forbidden unions set the stage for a complex interplay between the celestial and earthly realms. The Watchers, having descended to Earth, not only engage in forbidden unions, but also impart secret knowledge to humanity. This forbidden wisdom includes insights into the cosmos, the mysteries of creation, and other esoteric knowledge beyond the comprehension of mortals. The exchange of celestial knowledge becomes a transformative moment in the narrative. Enoch, a mortal figure and great-grandfather of Noah, becomes a central character in the Anakic texts. His role as an intermediary between the celestial and human realms provides a first-hand account of the Watcher's teachings and their impact on human civilization. Enoch's visions and revelations unfold the complexities of forbidden knowledge. The celestial intervention of the Watchers does not go unnoticed, and divine judgment looms large. The consequences of their actions reverberate through the celestial spheres, leading to a cosmic drama of retribution and divine justice. The Watchers, once revered guardians, now face the wrath of the divine for their transgressions. Beyond the literal narrative, the Watchers and their actions carry profound theological significance. The forbidden knowledge they impart symbolizes the delicate balance between divine revelation and the limits placed upon human understanding. The celestial drama becomes a metaphor for the complexities of divine human relationships and the consequences of exceeding prescribed boundaries. Within the expansive canvas of Enochic literature, the Book of Giants stands as a pivotal chapter, expanding upon the deeds and consequences of the Nephilim. This ancient manuscript, discovered among the Dead Sea Scrolls, delves into the intricate narratives surrounding these colossal beings, weaving a tapestry of epic proportions. The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls in the mid-20th century brought to light fragments of a text known as the Book of Giants. This enigmatic manuscript, believed to be part of the Anakic literature, adds layers of complexity 
to the tales of the Nephilim and their cosmic drama. The Book of Giants expands upon the exploits of the Nephilim, shedding light on their deeds and interactions with both humans and celestial beings. The narrative transcends the boundaries set by Genesis and the Book of Enoch, offering additional details about the colossal figures and their impact on the ancient world. The text introduces hybrid beings, offspring of the Nephilim, and further explores the lineage of the Watchers. The narrative unfolds with genealogies that trace the descendants of the celestial beings, providing a comprehensive understanding of the expansive mythos surrounding these extraordinary entities. Central to the Book of Giants is the theme of rebellion, echoing the broader Anakic literature. The Nephilim, caught in a cosmic struggle, rebel against divine order, leading to a cascade of consequences. Divine punishment becomes a prevailing motif, underscoring the moral and cosmic repercussions of their actions. Embedded within the Book of Giants is a vision attributed to Enoch. This cosmic revelation offers insights into the celestial realms, the hierarchy of beings, and the unfolding events that shape the destiny of the Nephilim. Enoch's vision becomes a key to unraveling the mysteries enshrined in the manuscript. The tales found within the Book of Giants reverberate through various cultural traditions. Parallels can be drawn with similar myths of giant beings and cosmic struggles, highlighting the universal aspects of these ancient narratives that transcend geographical and cultural boundaries. The Book of Giants, while distinct, interplays with other Enochic texts, enriching the broader narrative. Its contribution to the understanding of the Nephilim extends beyond the limits of individual manuscripts, weaving a cohesive tapestry of myth, morality, and cosmic drama. In the Cradle of Civilization, Mesopotamian myths echo with tales of giants and hybrid beings. The Epic of Gilgamesh, an ancient Sumerian epic, introduces Humbaba, a giant guardian of the cedar forest. This resonates with the Nephilim narrative, suggesting a shared cultural consciousness surrounding beings of immense stature and significance. Greek mythology unveils a pantheon of gods and titans, colossal beings who predate the Olympian deities. The titans, with their godlike attributes and colossal stature, draw parallels to the Nephilim. The Gigantomachy, a mythical battle between the gods and the giants mirrors the cosmic struggles found in Anakic literature. In the icy realms of Norse mythology, Jotnar or frost giants emerge as formidable beings associated with chaos and primal forces. The cosmic struggles between the Aesir and the Jotnar share thematic elements with the Nephilim narrative, emphasizing the interplay between divine order and chaotic forces. The ancient scriptures of Hinduism, particularly the Puranas, introduce beings known as Datius and Danibis. These celestial entities, often depicted as adversaries of the gods, parallel the Nephilim in their divine ancestry and formidable stature. The Mahabharata, an epic Hindu text, features battles akin to the cosmic conflicts found in Anakic literature. Across the vast tapestry of Native American mythology, stories of giants and supernatural beings abound. From the Iroquois to the Navajo, diverse tribes share myths of towering figures and hybrid entities, reflecting a cultural resonance with the theme of beings transcending ordinary mortal existence. The rich and diverse mythologies of Africa introduce beings that straddle the line between gods and mortals. Onansi, a trickster figure in West African folklore, and the godlike figures of the Yoruba pantheon bear semblance to the Nephilim, embodying both human and divine attributes. The enigmatic presence of the Nephilim has fueled a spectrum of interpretations, inviting scholars and theologians to embark on diverse journeys through ancient texts and theological frameworks. In this chapter, we navigate the interpretative diversity that has emerged over centuries, unraveling the rich tapestry of perspectives surrounding the nature and significance of the Nephilim. 
One strand of interpretation views the Nephilim as literal giants, beings of extraordinary stature that once walked the earth. Scholars exploring this perspective often delve into archaeological evidence, seeking connections between ancient myths and the discovery of oversized skeletal remains. This literal interpretation raises questions about the intersection of myth and tangible history. For many theologians, the Nephilim serve as symbolic representations of moral corruption and decadence. The forbidden unions between divine and mortal entities become allegories for societal degradation, reflecting broader concerns about human morality. This perspective places the Nephilim within a symbolic narrative warning against the consequences of moral transgressions. Another prevalent interpretation identifies the sons of God in Genesis as fallen angels or divine beings who rebelled against their heavenly duties. The Nephilim, born from the forbidden unions, are considered offspring of this celestial rebellion. This interpretation aligns closely with the narratives presented in Anakic literature, particularly the Book of Enoch. Some scholars approach the Nephilim as mythical archetypes, transcending specific cultural and religious boundaries. Drawing parallels with similar beings in other mythologies, this perspective suggests a collective human imagination, giving rise to narratives of hybrid entities that bridge the divine and mortal realms. The Nephilim in this context become manifestations of universal themes in human storytelling. The interpretative landscape is also shaped by challenges in translating ancient texts. Variations in language, cultural contexts, and translational nuances contribute to differing perspectives on the identity and nature of the Nephilim. Scholars often grapple with linguistic ambiguities, seeking to discern the intended meanings of the ancient texts. Some theologians view the Nephilim as elements of literary and theological symbolism embedded in the biblical narrative. The tales of giants and celestial unions become vehicles for conveying deeper spiritual and moral lessons emphasizing themes of divine judgment, redemption, and the consequences of straying from divine order. Rachaeology encounters a unique challenge when delving into the realm of myth and ancient texts. Unlike uncovering ancient cities or tools, the existence of supernatural beings is not expected to leave physical traces. The quest for tangible evidence requires a nuanced approach acknowledging the blurred lines between myth and historical reality. One avenue of exploration delves into the possibility of oversized skeletal remains, often cited in support of the literal giant interpretation of the Nephilim. Archaeological records occasionally mention discoveries of unusually large skeletons, sparking speculation about their connection to ancient myths. We navigate the fine line between mythological embellishment and potentially groundbreaking discoveries. The architecture of ancient tombs and monuments provides another archaeological avenue. Examining structures associated with legendary figures or events in mythological texts may offer clues. Were there monumental constructions dedicated to the Nephilim or celestial beings? Archaeologists scrutinize the structural remnants for signs of intentional symbolism or cultural practices related to these mythical entities. Art serves as a powerful archaeological tool for unraveling cultural beliefs. The depiction of beings with exaggerated features or celestial attributes in ancient artwork may hint at the presence of mythic figures. Scholars scrutinize murals, sculptures, and artifacts for visual representations that align with the characteristics attributed to the Nephilim in ancient texts. Archaeological sites associated with cultic practices offer insights into the religious aspects of ancient civilizations. Did rituals or offerings align with narratives involving the Nephilim? Exploring sacred sites and deciphering symbolic artifacts may unveil connections between religious practices and the mythic beings that populate ancient texts. Megalithic constructions, known for their precise alignments with celestial events, invite exploration. 
Could these ancient structures hold clues to celestial beings like the Watchers? Archaeocytronomy becomes a tool for deciphering the potential connections between megalithic sites and the cosmic narratives woven into the mythologies. The study of burial customs sheds light on cultural beliefs about the afterlife. Did ancient civilizations perform specific burial rites or construct tombs influenced by their understanding of the Nephilim and celestial entities? Archaeologists investigate funerary practices to discern the spiritual significance attached to these mythical beings. While archaeological perspectives offer tantalizing glimpses into the cultural milieu of ancient civilizations, the elusive quest for definitive proof continues. Archaeologists and scholars navigate the delicate balance between respecting cultural narratives and pushing the boundaries of discovery, recognizing that the absence of tangible evidence does not negate the enduring impact of mythical beings on human imagination. The Nephilim have experienced a resurgence in literature, with contemporary authors drawing inspiration from ancient myths to craft new narratives. Whether reimagining the celestial beings in fantasy novels or exploring their legacy in speculative fiction, writers weave the threads of the Nephilim into the fabric of modern storytelling. In the realm of urban fantasy and paranormal romance, Nephilim often take center stage as protagonists navigating the complexities of their dual nature. These modern interpretations explore themes of identity, forbidden love, and the eternal struggle between celestial and mortal realms. The Nephilim become characters in tales that bridge ancient lore with contemporary sensibilities. Visual artists have embraced the mystique of the Nephilim, depicting these celestial beings in paintings, sculptures, and digital art. The fusion of ancient iconography with modern artistic techniques creates visual narratives that resonate with both the timeless and the contemporary. Artistic interpretations invite viewers to contemplate the enduring allure of the Nephilim. From Hollywood blockbusters to small screen dramas, the Nephilim have graced screens in various forms. Whether portrayed as supernatural beings, half-angelic hybrids, or agents of cosmic forces, the visual medium transforms ancient myths into cinematic experiences. Modern storytelling techniques breathe new life into age-old narratives, captivating audiences with the intrigue of celestial ancestry. In the digital realm of video games, themes inspired by the Nephilim permeate interactive narratives. Players embark on quests that explore celestial lineages, supernatural powers, and cosmic conflicts. The interactive nature of gaming allows individuals to immerse themselves in a world where the legacy of the Nephilim unfolds dynamically. The Nephilim have become symbols ingrained in popular culture, gracing merchandise ranging from clothing to accessories. Their iconic status extends beyond the realms of literature and film becoming recognizable symbols that convey a fusion of ancient mystique and contemporary fascination. Beyond the realms of fiction and entertainment, the Nephilim continue to be subjects of theological discourse. The intersection of ancient texts with contemporary theological discussions sparks debates about the nature of these beings, their role in divine narratives, and their relevance in modern religious thought. 